right, welcome back. We're jumping in, actually, only on turn two here. Um, because our strategy is different. So, to sum up, or to give a uh, brief summary, rather, we're going to um, station Paula and uh, Paula at this entrance here. And then uh, eventually it's probably going to be Luke at this entrance here. Since there are high, two highest defense slash uh, resistance characters and HP. Um, they will be the ones solely responsible for holding off these dragons. They're not going to try to fight back, really. I mean, they won't be able to help it, but... Um, I guess I could de I could unequip their weapons if necessary, but... Um, their goal is just to hold the line. And eventually these dragons will hopefully just start, you know, blocking each other from coming. So I did test that, um, it only ta they, they only come, the last turn the uh, reinforcements seem to come is turn 8. I didn't make it past turn 9, but um, I didn't see any room to force reinforcements on turn 9, so I think that's the last one turn 8 is. Now, while they're doing that, of course, everyone else will deal here. Luke. For this first one, though, we're going to go ahead and block these both off. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um... Luke, I'm going to need you to, uh... I guess I could have Ogma do it. I'm just going to... I have a master key here that I want to play hot potato with. I will trade you the master key for... Uh, the silver sword. Perfect. And then Luke... Take the master key in exchange for... Mm. Also, the silver sword. Let me just dance for him. And we get this chest as well. We already got the other chest. Uh, then I sent the key back instead of the worm slayer. Oh, it's in a dragon pike. Nice. Let's actually, uh, let's keep that. Wait, no. Is there someone else whose hands it would be better in? We'll send that back. Katria, you block off here. I was going to do the same with Paula here for this first turn, but I didn't move her into a close enough position, it looks like, so I figured we'd just deal with it. Sita's going to be retreating anyways. Yeah, there's no chance she would have survived the both the fire dragon and the mage dragon. I was kind of hoping you'd kill him. Guess I should use the, uh... The, uh, what you call it? Brave Lance. Oh well. It's actually a good thing for me if they're... So I was kind of hoping, but I wasn't counting on it, that having one of these guys here would uh, redirect some of them. Um, would have been nice to see if it would work would worked for Paula, too. Um, with that in mind, though, if I heal you, could you... I mean, it would be better to have Luke do it. Maybe someone else who's faster. And again, you're... Uh, well, no, yeah, you're... Um, your resistances are the same. Let's worry about that in a second. We can easily deal with these two now. Sita, retreat. I just want to verify... 
Yeah. Also... Yeah, and I don't want to do that. How does the Silver Silver or Silver Lance do, though? Oh, sh shit! Did not mean to do that. And now she'd become trapped here. Um, I think we're gonna have to reset. That's all well and good anyways, I guess, since I wanted to put Paula there in the first place anyways. Um... This does answer the question I had, though, that deals against the mage dragons, at least. A solid 22 damage. And the fire dragons have slightly less. So it'd be 24. It would take three turns to kill either, either of them. With the silver lance. I'm just a little worried she might accidentally crit them. A crit would be, uh, deadly. All right, this time we did remember to put Paula up here. Um, and it did successfully lure at least that tomahawk. We actually crit this one this time. I put a uh, javelin on uh, Katri there. Unfortunately, that did cause both of the fortifies to trigger. So it didn't end up doing much good. Unless I could, you know, do it again. Which I don't think I can. Nor should I really risk. Um, I'd say it's good enough that you're luring them here. I will heal you to hopefully keep luring them. And actually, you know, I think I might change my strategy a little bit. If I can lure them here long enough to deal with uh, the center column, maybe, that'd be fantastic. Actually, if the center column all comes here, that might actually be troublesome. I'm not sure. I suppose as long as I can deal with these three, fine. That would be enough for me. It is turn-by-turn turn reinforcements. I think it alternates between here and, like, up here or something. Um. Hmm, that's a decent crit chance I don't like. I think I'm going to retreat Paula back down to here now. Switch to the worst uh, silver lens there. And Sita. Let's see, actually. Um, Yumina. Do I want to recover her yet? I think I can wait a turn to recover her. three I need to deal with, though. Let's see. Barst, you're gonna head on over. All of you are gonna head on over. What am I saying? Ooh, Ogma's in range. Now, I could also put Ogma in range of this Silver Axe there, but I might better use my Brave Sword. Hard to say. This one in particular is pretty dangerous. Um, I could use the Master Sword and hope to crit. It is an option. Of course, then I also have Sirius over here still. Um, of course, it may be better to... Uh, Use the brave bow. Maybe. Sirius can support whoever he needs to. Tiki, what about you? It's not bad. Same with you, Yumina. I will let Yumina support. Wait. Even better, actually. The one this way, she won't take damage. And then, Ogma. 
I think I will have you uh, try the Master Sword. Damn it. I really hoped. I think I can feel a Fortify coming. Alright, Marth. Who do I want you to kill? Let's see, that would be fine. Tiki, can you finish this one off? No. It's not without the Divine Stone, which I'm actually maybe okay using, since I did get another Divine Stone here. And I won't be taking Nagi into future chapters, I don't think. So maybe that was fine. Good job, Tiki. Now, Marth, go ahead and hit this one with the Brave Sword. Job. And that opens up for Sirius to uh, finish off the Swordmaster. Oh, nice. Your final level is uh, gets a defense. Fantastic. And an HP. Oof. Do I really need to use the Parthia here? Would I rather use a shot of the Parthia? Two shots of the Brave Bow. That is a tough question. Um, well, we're going to go a single shot of the Parthia. I think two shots of the Brave Bow is always basically better. Except if in the case where we're maybe against a... No, even in a case where we're against a flyer, probably. It would still end up better. Wonderful. All right. Now. Back off, Sita. potentially take a hit. It'll only be in danger of one, but you can definitely survive one. And that might, you know, ease, ease up on Paula. No, no, I'm not gonna. Alright, everyone who needs healing... She really, it's, I mean, several people need it, but the only one who's a priority is uh, Katria there. Now, I do have to worry if I leave Katria there. And she crits again. She would kill him and probably die. Right, yeah, almost certainly. So actually, I think I'm gonna retreat her now. As for you, Luke, if I leave you here instead of down here, it will block reinforcements. It'll be, uh, I think the mage dragons come on this first step. Um, though eventually you'll be able to, to they'll be able to hit you thrice, which it's also targeting your weakest um your weakest stat. Let me do some calculations really quick. 
three mage dragons would definitely kill him. And he could definitely survive three fire dragons. Um... still that problem for now, though. Let's limit it so that he only takes the one hit this turn. How about... Probably could have done that with Paula, too, but... Oh, well. We made our decision. Hmm, I don't have a recover. Okay. Twenty-two. Actually, hope I did my calculations right. No, nope, no, I did not. I could have sworn. I'm gonna double check what this fire dragon's strength is, and maybe it's stronger. Maybe I just uh, underestimated how much damage she took from the tomahawk. I don't, uh, whatever. No, it's the same. Mm, it's all well and good, anyways. Um, this has made it easier. to deal with the center. All right, bringing you back in. We made sure to heal Paula this time as she blocks off this path here. Um, and then, of course, Luke took the spot up here. Barst is blocking this one off. And uh, we also have Nagi prepared to take Barst's spot if he needs to replace Luke. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and heal Katria. I guess we'll do a mend. Now. Oh, damn. Oh, now you're about to use a, uh, See, that's what I thought. It was just a matter of she had uh, failed to heal her last time. That's good. Damn it. And this is actually perfect, because if I can lure some over here, but then deal with them at a slower pace over here, that's even better. Um... Now, Paula, if I were to keep healing you, that'd be fantastic. Can they hurt you, Mina? They can, but they can't kill her. That's good. That's very good. Um, we can de do decent damage with the Dragon Pike, too. Uh... I was thinking of bringing Tiki over to help out, finish these guys off, but, um... I can't really do that at the moment. I need someone who'd be able to take the place of, uh... Of Paula there. And I don't think, um... I definitely don't think Sita's capable. you take 22 damage and Sita would take an extra 5. Yeah, Sita can't survive that. Um, and then you guys. Let's pull back. If I bring... If I was able to bring Fina over, that would certainly help on that front. Um, looks like we'll have to wait a turn for that, though. For now, I think it's better if I just fully heal... 
you, Mina. Or fully heal Paula. Use one of my recovers. Could I also... Hmm. So if I were to attack this one with Sirius, I could heal Paula and probably move her in a step. That would eliminate one of the dragons, though. Make it uh, reduce the number down to... Uh... Well, they would still get four in there, but it would no longer be five at the very least. Hell, I could actually even then, uh, wait, no. She can't quite make it. Perhaps I should wait a turn for that. For now, we'll, uh, recover you, Paula. Tiki, um, move, I don't know, two spaces over. Make sure, yeah, I'll be retract. Serious, um... Right there for me. Okay, good. Ogma. Marth. Now, this is the tricky... Uh, so, if I want to be able to get Fina over there... Yeah, I need to move her down to here. Oh, and Luke. I need to heal Luke. Let's go ahead and Serana. Can you do it with a single physic? Um, I should keep in mind there's always the risk of uh, Luke taking this out. At which point, um, 24 plus the 36 there. Yeah, no, that would be, what, 60 damage? Luke would not be able to survive that. Oh, no, no, I have him with this Silver Lance right now. That, that's great. Specifically for that reason. Um, so he's fine. Yeah, there we go. We'll just have to keep a close eye on that. Um could get risky otherwise. Nagi, I'll bring you over. I may need your help against the dragon there. Katria. Um, so no matter what, you'll be able to support, but you can also still get back up here if you need to. Yeah, okay. We can stay there. Paula. Don't use the javelin. Actually, I almost don't want you to attack at all. It's too risky. Gotta survive. What was it? Nine turns? Eight turns? Well... Six turns of reinforcements, I think. Would have lose away, and then hopefully we can handle the rest of the map at our leisure. Make it to the uh, save point. first. And then there's you. Do you have a tomahawk? I guess I'll just have to be careful and uh, maybe block off here. Yeah, that's doable. Um, I'll probably end up using a fortify while I'm at it. That's not terrible. 
need to take out the Glower, though, with a brave weapon. Or the Quick Glance, perhaps. No, not quite enough. Um... Serious. Also not quite enough. I think it's gonna have to be you, Marth. Yeah. All right. And I definitely couldn't let them use the Glower. Um, now, I could use... No, never mind. I can't use Tiki there. But, um... I'm not sure, sure I'll be able to work on this side with what I planned with her originally. How close are you? How much damage do we need to do for you, Nagi? Um, just four. Anyone can do four. Um, Serana, you're limited to fortify, though I can dance for you if necessary. I think Katri is going to end up uh, right here or something. 23. Which, um, with the Brave Bow would be enough. All right. Ooh, even better. I'm gonna go serious. He has seriously exceeded my expectations. Um. Okay, that's good. I could still have Tiki go there. Um. If I were to dance for. No, no, definitely don't want to do that. With your 28 speed, I should really make sure whoever I'm gonna put there is fast enough. Um. I might dance for Sirius. We could attack the dragon there. Agma is, of course, a good choice. Katria, you should be a good choice, too. He'll have a 2% crit against you. I mean, it's better than Sirius. Will be the other. Uh, Og will be the other. Okay. All right, Katria, you're gonna get this. Uh, this hidden. We come for Naga. level. Um, let's hold off on the fortify for the moment. Oh, she could almost do that herself. So it'd be nice if I could... Uh... Actually, I, I can. So, Ogma, you're going to sit here, of course. Yeah, keep out the Master Sword. Maybe we'll get a crit in. If they decide to attack you foolishly. Um, so I can move her there. I can bring Paula back. Um, see, that's... Okay, just uh, by the side of that tiled, pictured floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay. So we'll bring her back. Dance for her. Uh, Tiki? 
one in here. We can basically do this repeatedly. Retreat uh, Paula. Move uh, Tiki in. Have her get the kill. Step one forward. She'll get healed by the Fortify. Let's make sure of that, though. Damn, that's not enough. Well, I still have my uh, Physic, though. I can, I can fix that. There we go. All right, Paula. Mm, I was kind of curious there. No, nope. the dragon pike could not do it. All right, and Tiki should be able to survive one dragon. Those two move, or one of those moves, that's going to be, uh, I'm just going to fill up that entire chamber. Hmm. I thought I had Sirius out of range, but I'm glad you didn't crit him. I guess I moved him up to attack some, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. fix that without him being in range. Oh well. It worked out in the end. Alright. Ignore you for a second. Focus on all of you. I'll need to, um... I could brave bow him. That would do the trick. Let's see... Yeah, they did do that. This one moved around. Um, at least this one's likely to stay put. But that does mean it's worth it to keep pushing forward, I think. So I'm not wasting turns in the end. Um, Paula. Come out here. damage, in fact. She could survive two hits from them. How much does the other one do? So this one does 14. Hmm. So this one does 14. The fires do 18. So she can, that's right, she can actually survive two hits, but, um, the problem is she needs the Divine Stone equipped in, then she would kill the one that gets close, and then it'd just be, she would die from the onslaught. This is still the best strategy. Sorry, Mage Dragon. Sorry, you guys have all been driven insane by the Shadow Dragon. Wow, that is her worst stat growth I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen her get less than three in a level. Um... 
Is there anyone better suited for this with higher resistance? Probably not. High resistance and the uh, the speed and HP. No, definitely not. Alright, Sirius, looks like you're up. Now, if I'm lucky, some of these ones, at least, will come for us this direction. Cover you if necessary, but can we heal Luke enough? 47? Yeah, that's enough. I'm going to need to bring over some uh, more material though. Also, I think this is as far as we can reasonably go. Um, unless I want to turn away on six, take up these positions again. Which is... No, I don't really have one, especially with things like Glowers uh, coming this way. I don't think there's anyone I want to risk that on. to risk it with Luke because this uh, Swordmaster is already there. So we'll probably just hold position with uh, with Paula for now. It's running right there. Um, I'm going to need to bring over recover or something for you, Mina. You guys can just sit here, sit tight. Not forgetting anything, am I? I don't think so. You're able to assist, uh, you might as well move over here, see that you're not helping over there. Two more turns. Or maybe not. It is, I guess, as long as I can get them in a steady stream, that's what really matters. Um, perhaps I should retreat, though. Especially with those two glowers there. And this one. These two. So you all have six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Nagi. That marks that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So Marth's position. And you're the same one, two, three, four, five, six. In fact, even less. If I'm lucky, actually some of these will head back here. Or decide to stay there rather. 
All right, so I healing wise, I don't think I can get Paula and Luke safe. I'm thinking maybe uh, Marth though. So you could take the 23 from that. Let me just calculate it out really quick. Okay, and even better. So he cannot just survive if I put him here with the uh, magic dragon and the fire dragon. Um, he can actually survive any combination of two here from the uh, two fire dragons or two magic dragons or one of each. Um, that's fantastic. Which means I can safely put him right here. And that would be fantastic. Um, Tiki, get out of there. Marth, I am going to have you... Oh, wait, before I do that. Um, no, never mind. Hmm. I need to bring Serana over. I need to get the... Uh, Well, I prefer at least to get a fortify off of off of Marth here. I don't think that's quite realistic, though. I can bring her over, though. Katria, you're gonna head over here. I just don't want to leave uh, Nagi completely unprotected. Serana, you have as good as a or better right there. Okay. I'm going to have to wait a turn for that anyways. Um, For now, let's go ahead and heal Luke there. Marth, take up your position. And once again, I don't want you to risk critting anyone, so... Unequip. Alright. We'll have one more turn of those. Finally, just focus on whittling them down. Mm, they're all coming for me. Oh, wait, no, they haven't made it to that intersection yet. You've done a good job of drawing several of them out, Luke. Even though you couldn't get them all. Um, yikes. I said they have one more turn of that, right? Has it been alternating? You know, we get them up here sometimes. get them here sometimes. If it is alternating, well, I guess it's irrelevant since it's only going to be one more turn and I couldn't make it all the way through here anyways. Um, so many glowers, those are so damn dangerous. So you have a range of six. Nagi, if I were to retreat you, I mean, you have a range of 6 2, so. Just barely able to retreat. If I 
could prevent them from coming for me over here. and kill one and use a recover staff. Hmm. Let's see. Well, first off, Marth. Did you really... Did one of them miss you? I feel like you should have taken more damage there. your range. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yikes. So that diagonal. Take this one out. We are going to take a fortify from the convoy. Really need it right now. Um, there we go. That should do good for Luke for now. Fantastic. Who am I going to uh, move for there? Paula, you can take that position. I'll need to use a physic on you though. better, actually, if I could also barrier you, but... Four, five, six, seven, uh... Boom. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to, uh... get it on you safely. Alright. Oh, you know, do I have anyone I could? Hmm. If I had someone I could lure out this dragon with, maybe tempt these guys over to the other side. Oh, that would be fantastic. 45 damage, 26 speed, 25 speed. Yeah, yeah, she could survive, just barely. Let me double check the numbers, I just don't want to make a mistake. So she'll have an equivalent of, uh, 40, um, 48 hit points. Versus his 45 attack. There's no one else here I'm forgetting. all of them at the same time. They were not alternating. Alright, if I'm 
lucky. Some of them will come over here now. If I'm not, I'll have to... I'll have to figure something out. There's those three. Okay, that one's coming that way. Yikes, too many. Frick. Is the last one of reinforcements at the very least, I think. I might want to get my rescue stabs or something. And that means I actually can use you two now, right? Just fantastic news. Have to worry about you glowers though. And this damn fire breath. They're they're all ranged. <laughs> that causes some problems. Um obviously I can't do that just yet. Luke, if you were full health, so obviously 40 damage there, but then 17 damage there. He would just survive with one hit point. Good to know. It's not the same for anyone else, probably. Yeah, no. I don't think anyone else in my party could pull something like that off. Let's see. I want you sitting right here for me. Keep the javelin out. Might as well do a little good. I'm barst right over here. All right. I need to make sure to heal him fully, though. I can take this dragon out as long as whoever takes him out can survive another dragon. Good. Um, with that in mind, actually, Marth would be a good choice, or if I can heal her, Paula. Yeah. Or Sita. Why not? Sita can actually get a level out of this. There we go. Right, she's gonna take a hit next time. Um, let me actually keep track of you. Back off, Paula. Tiki, um... Should let me... You don't have a, uh... Well, I was gonna say you don't have a Worm Slayer, but with Marth, I could actually take this one out. I take these ones out the better. Um, I can also still limit the damage of these three or how many resources they're taking up. Ah, but I can't really. 
as long as they still heal. Yeah. Since it's all the same types, um, as long as we don't run into two glowers in a row. Actually, I could, while they bunch up over here, I could, uh, just keep healing Luke fully, perhaps. We'll start with a fortify, though. We have a number of people who need healing, I think. Wait, just the just the two? Oh yeah, just the two. Or right, maybe I shouldn't waste that then. Uh, you mean it needs a two. So there's actually uh, three people. All right, we'll go with a we'll go with a fortify. I may need to. Um... Okay, good. I don't need to uh, get another heal on another physic on. I was worried he'd be at like 57 or 56 or something. Then I would have to use another physic since he'll only have the piece only has one HP to spare. Um. Okay. Now it's for you three dragons there. I'm kind of surprised you guys can't crit him. Oh, well. Yeah. In fact, he could actually, if it wasn't for the mage ones, he could almost survive you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Since you're not doing anything else, Tiki, I could get, or Fina, I mean, I could get Tiki again, take this one out, move uh, Marth up, take the fire dragon out. Ah, oh, let's get this in one turn. for this one? That's sad. Should I go with the Brave Sword then? That's right, because it was a Mage Dragon. Those are slower. They only have the 23 speed. I mean, I could... Mm, take the chance that you'll crit, but in all likelihood, it probably won't. Then again, in the next turn, so they'll get a fortify. Well, no, they'll use two fortifies if they have to. Perhaps I should just stick with the, uh, yeah, as well as the fact that uh, he can survive two of their hits for sure, but I'm not sure he could survive three. Stick with the Devil Sword. Oh shit. Oh shit. God, I didn't even... Oh, you... F Bastard. I am beyond lucky. It didn't even cross my mind at all about um, <laughs> moving in two flowers. Oh, that would have sucked so hard. Here they come. Yes, come that way, please. Good. Side is much more equipped for dealing with you guys. Mm, 
1K. Jeez. This is just stupidly many Drykens and Glaffer Mages. Um. Oh, oh, poor Luke there. And there's three Glower Mages there. If I could take you out. I could get Bars to kill one for sure. Um, I don't think Ogma could realistically... Katria, maybe? I mean, I'm going to need a... Hmm. I, I think I have an against staff I could use. Do I want to waste that, though? I imagine that would come in very handy against the final boss. Actually, since they took this position, I can tempor temporarily, as long as I can fully heal him, just leave Luke to uh, sit there. Um, I shouldn't neglect that as a possibility. Originally, what I was thinking was um, retreating into here. same way we did over here. Since I'm... Mm, it's the Glower Mages. I, I, <laughs> those guys are a threat. Well, Tiki... Actually, let's hold that thought. Um, one... Two, three, four, five, six. Right, just the six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. As long as we move to Marth, where Marth is, we'll be fine. So, Serana. We'll be able to do it. Let's move everyone as far as they can go. Ooh, here's a thought. Lure you out with, uh, with someone. You want to get this one? You'll probably get both of them, honestly. As long as Fina can dance for you, which I think she can. Just fine. This is why I'm so glad I have Tiki. One character who can one-shot basically any dragon. Oh. Alright, Sita. I'm gonna just back off. Sirius, you too. Um. Marth. Uh, you have your fortify still, right? Yeah. See, I need to do something about them over here because, well, I could retreat another turn. Hmm. Since you only have the six movement, really, it's you though that is the threat. If I did kill them all, though, 
Mm, but I can't risk that. Since I don't have the brave weapons on this side. Enough of them. No matter what, the Glower Mages could attack anyone on this side. Um, and if you have a... Uh, Take this one out without the brave. And then. Everyone but Nagi's capable of surviving one of them. Okay, so I, I take out uh, the dragon. That'll take two of them. I take out this one with. Uh, uh, this one with someone. Probably like Katri or Agma. And then Bars can take this one out without taking any hits, both of them. And I won't be able to take the final one out, but we can survive it. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, even better. That bodes well. Alright, Nagi. Let's go. This one? But the Lady Sword, yes. Let's hold you off for a second, Ogma. Let's let Ogma handle this one. Some defense, wonderful. And the luck. I'm happy to see that you got the luck with that last one. That means I don't have to use the uh, the final goddess icon on you. Um, okay, here's the Brave Axe. Perfect. I cannot believe we're surviving this. <laughs> um, and then Katria. Who you can't actually finish him. So, what can you do with your javelin, though? Um, have they been, how many have you used? You've only used one fortify. You've used none. I have a feeling that if I let her kill or attack this one, there's a decent chance they'll fortify. What's the chances of uh, critting 16, but doesn't really matter since I have the, the brave weapon I need. If you want to split off to this side, I'd be happy, but, um, no more, please. Yeah, there it is. And I used it anyways. Oh, yeah. Is it going to be exactly two? Because <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. No. Shoot. God damn it. Oh, that's a lot of them going over that way. Let's see if retreating helps that. All right. Um, you have six movement, of course. One, two, three, four. Five, six. You can attack there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the furthest you can go. The first, the furthest you can reach. Nagi, right over there, please. Um, 
Bactria. Way over there. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two spaces there are open. Perfect for you two. Wait. I'd rather have Bars be able to take this one out. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Ogma, right there. All right. Hopefully that uh, discourages these ones. If they can redirect, that'd be fantastic. Um, oh, this is a lot of dragons coming over this side. I mean... Side is well suited for dealing with dragons, but that still, come on. At least that means I can break out of here. I just have to kill the one glower. Serana, you're going to heal. I think you're going to fortify again and a lot of them, but we're going to get a new one, so I'm okay with that. And we have, I mean, just a little bit what we're dealing with here. Um, God, it's ridiculous. I should dance for you, maybe? No, hold on. You have a brave... It's going to have to be you, Marth. It's a bit risky, though. Putting Marth here would mean, uh... He's vulnerable to three at a... No. Four. Four possible attacks. I should dance for Tiki, get her out of the way. And then... Brave Bow, 48, perfect. survive one of them, I think. And a Carol City Marth. 21 damage each. Yeah, you would not be able to survive four of them. Not even three of them. tempting, but no, we need to uh, bring our troops down, though it would be a very welcome reprieve. Maybe I'll just put someone right here or here, no, here, and as someone who could survive up to the 40 damage from the uh, Glower without a weapon. Someone who won't be doing much else. Um, rather without a ranged weapon. Can you, uh... 42. Ooh, yikes. Gotta go describe that one too, though. All, uh... 32. He has a 4% crit chance on you. Options are limited here. We could go with Marth, but um, he wouldn't be able to get the bulk of them attracted. it, Paula. I could give you that uh, last goddess icon. And 
actually. First off, I'm going to take that recover now. Do I want to, uh... Yeah. Let's heal Katri over there. Mm, while we're at it, Marth. Stay in the water. There it is. I'll trade you for one of the silver lances. And to help uh, against the, uh, the swordsman there, we'll equip a silver lance. There we go. Hopefully that helps her a little bit. Now he only has a 2% chance of critting. The red dragons can't crit him either. Okay, good. No critter either. Honestly, that's for the best. No risk of the uh, crit now. Uh oh. Okay, she's fast. Good. Thank you for not critting. Okay, good. Yeah, head that way, please. I can handle two of you. Oh. It's nerve-wracking right now. It would be a lot less nerve-wracking if it wasn't for, once again, all of these glowers. It is the most dangerous spell so far, especially when there's so many of them. <laughs> Make sure I'm keeping track of everybody. Alright. Barst. can't get to that one down there, so no point in trying. Um, why don't you take this one out then? Oh good, you're not wasting more of the breadbacks than you need. Wonderful. Now as for you. Five, six, seven, eight, you could attack there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Or just nine with a javelin. Alright, um, Luke. You're gonna go for the dragon then. Followed by Nagi, of course. Shoot. Why didn't I think? Ah, damn it. Nagi, your movement is so low. Mm. Chances of critting there. What I could do is I could rescue one of them, whoever attacks there, and uh, bring them back. And then the other person could come in and finish the job. That's an option. And I'll say if that's if we don't crit, how about, which with that in mind, um, let's bring out the Master Sword. Increases our chances of critting. 
Perfect. Now, would the uh, quick lance be enough here? No. No, it would not. Might as well keep the javelin out this time. Okay, as for you guys, um... Oof. You gotta be very careful not to make any mistakes. It's a real shame we can't save our progress until we get all the way up here. And then we'll only have to deal with uh, whoever's inside of this building here, the boss, and whoever else. But I think this is the hard part of the map, probably. Glower can reach here. That's not good. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to retreat a little bit. Would love to let Tiki kill one of these, but I can't risk it. Um, I think we're going to end up with Marth protecting us. needs healing. A lot of people, this is actually, is a good opportunity for a fortify. And then, definitely need to fortify you, Paula. Or physic you, Paula. Actually, maybe I don't. She'll survive the Glower one more turn. Though, there's a chance... Eh, I don't think the AI is capable of deciding to move a character to get a better character into attack. Mm, still, though, let's visit you now. And we're going to back you off. Or, since you're already healed... because I, they can move the Glower in. So I was thinking of moving Tiki in, killing one, dancing for her, moving Marth in. Which I would do if it wasn't for these two, or for this one specifically. For now, let's let them come in a bit. We'll put Marth, like, uh, right here-ish. Actually, if I could block these three off, that'd be even better. They would, uh... Just if I have three people who can survive two hits. Serana's possibly one. Give her a vulnerary first. The best part about her with Nosferatu is even if she does crit, that just means she gets fully healed. And then, uh, Marth. Would be a good choice. But let's not let them have the chance of, uh, killing themselves. And then, finally... Sita, can you... 28s? No. No, you can't. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, series, can you survive too? Yes, he can. It's perfect. You have enough HP, right? Yeah, he's full. Wait a minute. Oh, these guys are luckily capable of surviving one of them. Didn't consider that a second ago. Alright, Paula, stay where you are. Or do I just want to let them go in again? No, I'd like to hold them there as long as possible. Even if just the one glower. That'd be nice. Run it if you want to. Uh... Wait a minute. Okay. No. 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 Miss. Miss. Son of a bitch. I didn't think that through. That one hurts. plan is still good, but um, who knows what could accidentally go wrong on the path back there. <laughs> 